so 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 y'all today I will be marinating my chicken for this chicken biryani now this is the first time I made it I have researched it I have looked it up on Facebook I ha I've been doing this for the last week trying to get my seasonings up now chicken biryani is uh, a Pakistan, Nigerian, aerobic, a Arabic, whatever, aerobic, Arabic, uh, South Carolina, uh, South uh, Africa, I started to say South Carolina, huh? South Africa, Kenya, uh, let me see, I wrote it down, Swahili, and it's aerobic, Arabic. Indian, uh, it's just a combination of everything. And uh, I looked at it one day on YouTube and I fell in love with it. And uh, now the one I'm doing is, I think it's the South Africa and Nigerian uh, chicken biryani. And uh, they got a Nigerian jollof. I want to try that one next. Okay, so um, we're going to marinate this chicken. Now, you have to let it sit in the refrigerator for three days. So, this is uh, a Monday. And I'll be cooking it Thursday. Monday is going to marinate tonight. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. By Thursday, I'll be cooking it. Okay? So, I'm going to show you what goes in this uh, chicken biryani. Uh, I've got, I think I got five chicken thighs. Now you're supposed to clean your chicken thighs, take the skin off, 
and uh, cut it in half. So I cut my chicken thighs in half. I'm going to use a tablespoon of salt or a teaspoon. I think this may be a teaspoon. Okay. And we're going to use the... Um... Okay, let me put this one all the seasonings. We're going to put the ground turmeric. About... I'm thinking about a teaspoon. Because turmeric is good for your health and... Uh, Turmeric is, is really going to give it that color, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with about a, about a teaspoon to about, to about a tablespoon, okay? Paprika. Now, you know that gives color, even though it's smoked paprika. About a teaspoon to take to a tablespoon. Ground nutmeg. About uh, I'm gonna go with a half a teaspoon. White pepper. I'm gonna go with a teaspoon. Ginger, about a tablespoon. Minced ginger and minced garlic. About a tablespoon. Now you can buy the ginger in the minced but I didn't find any. I just got the uh, fresh ginger and grated it up, okay? And uh, you're going to use a tomato. I got about a whole tomato in here. And you're going to use plain yogurt. About two tablespoons. Okay, and now you're going to mix it all up together. And really, it's best to use your hands. I didn't go over there and get me no gloves. I don't like to put my hands in this. Uh, let me go get some gloves, and I'll be right back. Okay, you mix it up really good. And you're going to let this sit in the refrigerator for three days. This is one of those meals you have to prepare for it three days ahead of time, okay? And this is called chicken biryani. Smells good. That garlic and ginger just really has it smelling good. Okay. Now we're going to wrap it up in saran wrap. And uh, I'll see you in three days. in the uh, refrigerator. And what we're going to do now is let me turn the eye on because we're going to uh, simmer these purple onions. Now I call them purple because I don't see no red in these purple onions. Most people call them red. Okay, we're going to use the infused olive oil with the peppers, red peppers. And I'm going to put like four tablespoons of olive oil in. I'm going to put, now you need to cook this with a lot of butter. 
one stick of butter. I'm going to add these purple onions into the butter and the olive oil. And I'm going to get them simmered down until they're sort of brown. Okay, and like I said, this is the first time I have cooked chicken biryani. And I have been like you say, I, I, like I say, I have been uh, looking it up on different YouTube pages, and it is a Indian meal, an Indian food. Now, certain people cook it different. It's cooked different. Like Nigerians cook it different. Uh, South Africans, they cook it different. Uh, Swahili, different people cook it different. Okay? So I'm going to go, well... Let me add curry powder, about a teaspoon of curry. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of ginger. I'm going to saute it up until it turns like a golden brown. Chili powder. About a teaspoon. Okay. Now you're going to add. The chicken that we had marinating in the refrigerator for three days. Now, if you don't have yogurt, you can uh, use regular milk and squeeze about a teaspoon of lemon juice in to get the uh, milk fermented. I guess that's a way of saying it, saying get it like buttermilk, okay? Now we're going to add the chicken that's set in the refrigerator for three days. Along with the juice and everything. Okay. We're going to stir it up in here for about maybe about 30 minutes. Let me see, I've got to turn it up just a little bit. Then we're going to add two bay leaves. habanero pepper, but this one I cut and got the seeds out because I don't want it to get too hot. Then I'm going to add about mm, two teaspoons of gram masala. This is a mix. 
that you mix up. And down below in my uh, description box, I'll have all the seasonings that you need to use because you take all your seasonings and you put them in a uh, a skillet. A, and then you, you know, heat them up a little bit. Then you take them out and put them in a, uh, a mixer or a blender or I mix mine in this bullet. This is what I mix my seasonings in. Okay, and you put about two teaspoons in. Okay, mix it up real good. And if you can't get all of the seasonings, because I had a time finding all of those seasonings, you can Use Jamaican Island Jerk. About two teaspoons of this because it's got everything in it as far as the seasonings have uh, that I ground it up. Okay, I'm going to let it cook for about maybe about 30 minutes. I'm going to turn it down on, on medium high and uh, we'll be back in 30 minutes. I'm gonna put tomatoes in, okay? All right. Then I'm gonna add, listen, just a little chicken broth. About, about a half a cup of chicken broth. Because I don't want it to stick to the pan. This is looking really good and smelling so wonderful. Okay, and listen, I did two cups of basmati rice, and what I did, I put four cups of water to two cups of rice, and before I put the rice in, I rinsed the uh, starch off the rice, and uh, I've got the rice ready, and you don't let it cook for about maybe five minutes, about five minutes, okay? So I've got the rice over there, so I already steamed up and cooked, and uh, we're gonna wait for 30 minutes to get this uh, chicken biryani cooked. You gotta let it roll off your tongue. Biryani. I'll be right back. Okay guys, now we are getting ready to put this together. And you see the rice is really fluffy. Really fluffy, that's why you're not supposed to cook the, overcook the rice. It's really fluffy. Okay, you're gonna add rice at the bottom. Then you're gonna add the chicken stew or biryani on top of the rice. I'm going to add a little juice on top. More rice. Chop coriander.
okay? And the rest of the rice. Coriander. About two teaspoons of water. Then you're gonna add it to the rice on top of the rice. This is gonna turn the rice yellow. If you don't have this, you can use yellow food coloring. Gonna put it back on the stove. And let it simmer. A low simmer for 15 minutes. And we're gonna mix the chicken biryani up. And it smells delicious. Okay. And see it turned that rice yellow. I'm gonna turn it off. And I let it stew for 20 minutes. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take it over here and fix me up a plate. And I'll be back. Here's my chicken biryani. And uh, I'm gonna give you all a taste. It's really, 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 really hot. Here you go. Oh, it's so good. And I see why they say don't cook your rice fully done. Because after letting it simmer for 15 minutes, the rice is perfect. Oh, God. This is so good. I'm going to give you one more bite. And we're going to get up out of here. Stay humble. Be blessed. Have a good day. Ooh, and it's spicy, too. Good and spicy. Don't let nobody mess your day up, okay? Keep a smile on your face and just keep on going. Nobody can mess your day up. Subscribe, like, and comment. And listen, y'all don't forget to hit that, that uh, thumbs up button. Please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And I, uh, mm. oh gosh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Yeah, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that. Because sometimes I have like maybe 98 views because I don't get very many views. And I have like 5 or 10 thumbs up. 
hit the thumbs up before you come in. And then if you don't like what you see, go out and take it away. Or even thumbs down. Mm -mm -mm. Just a good buttery tasting. Listen, y'all ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. Bye for now.